to do with it be what it is YouTube. All right, we're home. We're gonna do a catch and cook of blue catfish and channel catfish, and we're gonna make them into some golden crispies. So we're gonna get them all egg washed, and then we're gonna put some uh, batter on them. Then we're gonna fry them up in some oil and see which one tastes better, the blue catfish or the channel catfish. So let's show you what we're working with, show you what the fillets look like, get them in some milk, and then tomorrow we'll fry them up. All right, so we got our blue catfish and our channel catfish. Blue catfish like frozen from being in the ice. Channel catfish is still, uh, he's all, still all limber. So let's get these cut up into some fillets. So we're gonna start with the blue catfish here. Get the skin off. I like to make a little itty bitty slice around here. Just itty bitty slice here and here. Just enough to get skin layer deep. Then I grab the skin, peel off the skin, cut the excess off the back. Then I get my fillets after I get the skin off. I just like it that way, it's the way I do it. So, let me get the fillets off of this, show you what they look like. And there's our two fillets from that little blue catfish. Sorry, I bumped the camera there. It's two pretty nice fillets. We're gonna chop them up in little pieces and then they're gonna be for some uh, nuggets. Then we're gonna soak them in some milk overnight and make them nuggets. All right, and now we got some really nice nugget sized shapes. So we're gonna put all these in here. And then we're gonna soak them in milk overnight, which I always do with catfish and a few other species of fish if I'm gonna eat them. little layer of blue catfish right here. Get some milk on there. And we let this blue catfish sit in the refrigerator overnight. And let's get to the other one, channel catfish. All right, here goes our channel catfish. Nice little channel catfish right here. Let's get him cut up, get some fillets. Here goes our channel catfish fillets. They're slightly smaller than the blue catfish fillets, but still some nice size fillets here. Got a little yellow meat here at the top, next to where the ribs were. Everything else is pretty white. Might cut that little piece off. Let me cut these into nuggets, and then get them in a milk bath. All right, let's get this channel catfish up inside of here. Get itself up in some milk. And we can fry these up for some golden crispies tomorrow. A lot less of these than there was of the other one. Definitely was a bigger fish. Okay, let's get some milk in there. Let these two sit in the fridge overnight. 
and they've both been labeled blue catfish and channel catfish. So we'll put them in the fridge and we'll see you tomorrow when we cook them up. Do what it be what it is, you too. We're up in the next day. It's about 4 p.m. I didn't do it at lunchtime like I planned to, but here goes our blue catfish and our channel catfish. So let's get some eggs ready. Let's get our batter for the uh, fish and let's get our oil heating up. Let's see how these turn out. Let's get it started. All right, we're just gonna use this little pan because I didn't have as much oil as I thought I did. Some vegetable oil here. Should be enough to do what it needs to do. We'll get the heat turned on on that. And let's get the eggs started with the batter and get these fish in there. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is get these things out of milk, rinse them off, get them dried off, put them on the plate. A couple of these. Take some paper towel. Put those pieces. You just want to dab them dry. There we go. And we'll do that with the rest of these pieces real quick. All right, let's get these eggs broke up. Get this started. Nice and mixed up. There we go. And we got some Louisiana fish fry. Seasoned crispy fish fry. Fish fry. Right. Let's get this fish fry in here. So we're gonna do a double egg. Egg, uh, some batter, egg, batter. Put some egg on here. There we go. Dip it up in here. Get it all nice and battered up. And then put it back in the egg. And then, oh, and then dip it back up in here again. And there we go. Now I just do that another uh, 15 times. All right, everything is breaded up. Let's get it over here and put it in uh, the pan and get it started frying up. Let's get a couple of these up in here. All right, when those start floating, I'll put another batch on. I think this first batch is starting to Oh yeah, look at those. I think those are done. Let's get those on a plate and get us some more in there. Catfish Golden Krispies. Coming in hot. Look at those. Let me get another batch in there. I think for the uh, the channel catfish, I might not have enough uh, oil. We'll see, we'll see. We might have to do another video or I'll just eat that a different time. Got some nice golden crispies here though. 
It smells delicious. All right. I'll be back with you when these start floating. All right, this next batch is looking like they're done too. I got breaded at the end. Uh, <coughs> not Corona. <laughs> the ones that got breaded at the end, you can tell these ones were the first breaded, so they got the nice fine stuff. And then after it was all chunky, you got these nice crispy. So we got two different like versions of the same stuff because of uh, how it ended up getting on there at the end. But there's our blue catfish. Let's get the channel catfish cooked up. This one's a slight bit different. We got a little bit of flour and we got a whole bunch of the Japanese style panko plain breadcrumbs. We're gonna add some of my Oklahoma steak, uh, or Omaha steak, not Oklahoma. <laughs> steak seasoning, because I just like that stuff. Be very generous and get it all up in there so it's all up in the breading. And we mix that up. time to get some of this channel catfish up in here get it up in here we're gonna do the double again I'm gonna put it back in there because it already has some breading on it and then we'll put it back in here and get to just a nice thick layer of the breading which makes it that yeah, much better. Well, we do that with a couple more pieces. Get the rest of it done. Get it in the frying pan. Be back with you in a minute. All right, these are just the regular ones. And then these, after the batter got really wet and stuff, I just squeezed some stuff around them. So they're gonna be like a casing. And these are just lightly breaded. As they were like super breaded. So we'll see how that turns out and which one of those is better. Let's get these up in the oil get these in the oil we're gonna start with the ones that are lightly battered I'm getting so hungry smelling all this fried fish up in here I, I can't tell you how hungry like I, and I'm getting a hunkering for scallops for some reason I guess it's smelling a little bit like scallops to me so let's get these cooked up and I'll show you the final product when we have everything finished. All right, looking like the first of these channel catfish are done. Oh yeah, maybe a little bit overdone. They look done. Mmm, that smell is delightfully delicious. Can't wait to tear into some of these. All right. All right, I think the last bit of these Golden Krispies are done. Oh yeah, look at them fatties. These have a lot less fish and a lot of bread. But uh, it's like a fluffy kind. See, one has a lot of it crushed around it and that one's just dipped in it. Very delicious looking. Let's get these on the table. See which one of these is better, the blue catfish or uh, channel catfish. Well, these look delicious. This is the blue catfish here, the first batch. And then this is the channel catfish. These are lightly breaded, heavily breaded. So let's crack into these, see which one tastes better. Well, what it do, what it be, what it is. Let's crush some of this, because I am starving after smelling this. Let's grab a couple pieces of this blue catfish. Grab a couple pieces of this channel. We'll get one super fluffy 
and one crunchy. Try this blue catfish first. Mmm. That Louisiana has some good stuff. Mmm. This is delicious. As soon as I made it, my daughter came down and stole a piece of both and ran away. <laughs> Blue fat catfish is pretty good. Mm. Let's try a piece of this channel catfish. Nice and fully cooked, all white. Just took all my breading off. We'll just put that back on there. That panko with that seasoning inside of there, that is really good. Huh? It's a hard decision which one I like better. I like the blue catfish flavor better of the meat. The channel catfish has a little bit more fishy flavor than the blue catfish does. But, still good. My mouth is full, sorry. <laughs> and when you do it like this, you get uh, a whole bunch of egg on there, you get a whole bunch of breading, and then you just smush it on there real nice. And then you get this thick coating of bread, with a little bit of fish inside. Definitely prefer the blue catfish over channel catfish. Always have, always will. So I'm gonna sit here and tear up some of this food. Y'all make sure to get it right and get it tight. I'll holler at y'all later.